Hi guys, uh, this is the katapang leaf, huh? or they call it uh, almond leaf. Let's see how the tree look like. I just zoom a little bit for you to have a look. And this green color, it cannot be used. Huh? You only have, uh, you have to pick all those on the ground. Something like this. Yeah, this. Or something like this. Hi guys, welcome to Leran channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a ketapang juice. This is very simple. What you need is, you need to find a ketapang leaf. That's a really matchup. It's, the color is very dark, in chocolate colors, and dry. And what you need is, a water, and a jar. Okay, and a little bit of salt. What you do is before you put in, you need to wash properly because it's on the ground. It's most, most probably you have some particles or dirt inside. So you need to wash it. And after that, you pour the water in the jar and you put in the tapang leaf. Just leave it for one or two days and you will see. Hi guys, uh, this is uh, the first day. Eh? Since yesterday we put in, you can see they are slightly lighter. And now you can see they are very dark already. Okay, and let us see closely from the top. You can see the result, and I'm uh, very satisfied. And uh, quite surprisingly, they don't have a layer of oil. But you see, uh, when we put in the ketapang leaf. They have a layers of oil, and this one doesn't occur at all. And uh, let's continue to put another day and see what is the the result of the ketapang uh, juice. Whether it's going getting darker, and see you tomorrow. Hi guys, we meet again. Now it's the second day of the experiment on the ketapang juice let's go closely and have a look and if you see you compare with the day one you can see the slightly uh, darker the slightly brown huh? and uh, we go closer and have a look on the top whether they have uh, oil on top or not let's check Seem don't have at all. That means this experiment is successful. We only use uh, one leaf. Uh. We don't use a lot of leaf. If we do a lot of leaf, I think the water will be dark brown, darker. Even you can't see uh, at the back. Okay, why not we use this uh, ketapang juice and try on our betta fish. Let's go. All right, let's start. First, you need a dropper. Here I show you, this is my dropper. What the function of the dropper is, to suck the juice from the ketapang. And we put three drops, each drop, into our betta fish. And you can see the some changes of the water. It will be slightly uh, darker, and if you want to put more, should be not a problem at all. And do you know the ketapang leaf benefits? Here is number one: you will able to lower down the pH water. Secondly, you will stabilize the water temperature. Third, you also have a antibacterial contents. Four, antifungus. Number five be able to induce the fish to spawn and also to prevent from brain rot. So you see all a lot of a lot of benefit about it. You also can see the fish is very active and there are no side effects on the so-called the ketapang juice and it's very natural and you can see the fish flare. 
very important they are very happy and another tip is if they are happy they are able to more, to make more bubbles all right so uh, i have another method if you like this channel please subscribe share and like all right so if you want uh, more information please look into my next episode i will teach you how to do another method how to produce a juice so hope to see you again goodbye